This video is part of the series on Runway ML. Originally, I planned to make one video covering everything in Runway, but after recording it, I had two hours of video and I didn't think you'd want something that long, at least not in one single video. So I edited the heck out of the footage and then split it up into separate videos to give you smaller, more manageable bites. The previous videos went over the home page, all the features Runway ML has to offer. We experimented with video generation, both text to video and video to video. We looked around Runway's video editor and video editing tools, and we tried out lip sync. This video should make sense on its own, but if you feel like you're missing some background, go back and check out those other videos about Runway ML. I put a link to the first one at the top of the screen. Right now, we're going to experiment with Runway ML's motion brush and that is within Gen 2, so I'm going to try Gen 2, and I want to bring in the image that I used for the lip sync guy, so I'm going to select from assets, I'm going to double click and bring him in. And what I want to do here is I want to play with this motion brush, which is over on the left, we'll click that, it comes up telling us basically what we're about to do, which is we can control movement in specific parts of the scene with the motion brush, and then we don't have to be precise. So you have five different brushes here that you can play with. So we're going to start with brush one. It's going to be this magenta color. And I think what I'm going to do is grab this tree here. And with that sort of filled in, it says we don't have to be precise. So we'll see. For motion, I'm going to choose horizontal. And I'm just going to slide that to the right. I'll put it at about five. We don't want to be too crazy. And since we have multiple brushes, we are not limited to just having things sort of blow in the wind. We can add another brush. Maybe, I don't know if this will work at all or not, but let's grab this collar and try a vertical. See if we can have it maybe flap up and down. I don't know if that'll work or not, but we'll give it a shot. Proximity would be like a zoom in or zoom out effect. We certainly don't want to zoom out on this fellow's collar, so we will leave that alone. And you notice I've got brush two selected here, and so as I hover over things now, it's sort of pre-selecting objects. It's not picking them, but if I were to click right there, it would select his whole shirt on the right side. Or if I clicked right here, it would select this blue t-shirt that's underneath. So it's getting smart and starting to pick up what objects are connected. I think that's all we're going to do for brush two. I'm going to click on brush three and I want to mess with this ambient noise and maybe just, I don't know, one of these bushes back here. Let's try this one. See if we can get it to have some ambient noise. Ambient noise is good for things like water and clouds and that sort of thing. So let's just give it a shot and see. I'll move that on up to, I don't know, five. Now, if we did not want it to sort of detect and pre-select things here for us, we could just turn off this auto detect area if we wanted to make really specific selections like I did here with this collar. And if you end up brushing too much stuff, you can just hit the erase button and erase some things that you've selected. Now with this image that I'm converting to video, I could also make other changes. I could go to the camera control and do all the wild tilting, rolling, panning, all that kind of stuff. But I'm really interested in just having that motion from the motion brush. Because we're going image to video, a text prompt is optional and I'm not gonna enter one. We're using the motion brush to tell it what we want to move, which will change the image to a video. So let's go ahead and generate. And after a few minutes, here's what we have. Oh my, oh my. I know exactly what I did wrong here. This tree in the background is actually moving across the screen. That's not right. This ambient movement that we have going on with this little bush, that's probably fine. And then my collar flapping in the wind didn't work so well. It seems to be just rising up, rising up. And I figured that could happen. The solution, I believe, is probably to use the ambient on the tree so that it'll just sort of gently move in place like the bush down here is doing. And that ambient might be the trick also for the collar to just have it flap a little bit. Even though it's doing what I told it, which is totally crazy, I do like how it is incorporating things around it to try and make it make sense. I can't blame Runway for this what I told it to do, I can totally see why it didn't work and where things went wrong. But it knows that it has to change something with this shirt if we're going to do this weird stuff with the collar. 
So I want to say reuse prompt, and then if I click motion brush, oh good, it remembers what we did. So let's grab our eraser here and get rid of what we did on the collar and all around it. Look, I went into all these different areas. All right, now brush one, which I had up here on the tree and I have it going horizontal. I think I want to move that back to zero. Just going to have a little bit of ambient noise. Going to put that at one. Brush three, which is this bush here. I had that at five. I think I'm going to take that down to one. If that's going to be at one, let's take the tree up to an ambient noise of two. I think we'll go back to brush two, and I think we'll try to have this collar flap a little bit. So I'm going to try ambient just at, I don't know, maybe 0.5 and see if that gets the job done. And generate. Well, I would need to upgrade to generate, which we're not doing today. And I also need to bring this vertical back down to zero. Otherwise, I would have the vertical movement and the ambient, which is not at all what I wanted. But given that I am down to one second worth of credits remaining, I only have five credits left, I would need to upgrade to get more credits. On the free plan, once you've used your credits, that is that. This isn't exactly a happy ending to our tour of Runway ML, but it might get better. Click the video that's on your screen right now, and I'll give you my thoughts on the pros and cons of Runway ML, along with a look at the latest Runway ML model, Generation 3 which appears to create some pretty awesome videos.